there, I'm Summer. And I'm Carolyn. And we haven't done this in a little while. The last couple of videos that we've done, we've been traveling um, for fun and not so fun reasons. Um, but here we are, home again, doing a video. Yay! Yay! We missed you guys. We did. And today we thought we would talk about health, fitness, and good stuff. So recently, um, after the swimming season sort of came to a close and it was an abrupt kind of close that we didn't really get to have our last swim and know it was our last swim. In fact, I was kind of hopeful to go swimming today, but it didn't happen. It's been warm, but not warm enough. The water will be freezing. Yeah, so that's it. I think that'll be the end of it, but it's much more satisfying when you have a swim and then you're like, all right, this is probably our last swim, even though we had been saying that for a little while. But anyway, we were saying it, but didn't believe it. Yeah, and we kept hoping, and then we had things happen, and we couldn't swim anymore. Anyway, um, in an effort to not lose the fitness level that we had sort of gained over the summer, we've decided to try and work on our health. I'm just going to interrupt us a little bit right here and just say that if you're enjoying our videos, please give us a big thumbs up and we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. So um, we've tried to do a little bit of yoga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it was the first time that I was able to do yoga in um, almost four years, just, just two months short of four years. So I really wasn't sure and I really, really love yoga. I get a lot of benefits from it. It really, when I'm, when I'm finished a yoga class, my whole body is like so happy and feeling good. And um, anyway, before the accident, I was doing a lot of yoga and, and I was looking at becoming a teacher at that point. Um, so In fact, you were actually on your way to a yoga class when you were in the car accident. That's right, yeah. When I got hit by the drunk driver, I was heading towards mm -hmm. yoga on a Sunday afternoon at three o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway. Don't drink and drive. No, don't drink and drive. Seriously, don't drink and drive. Um, uh, yeah, so we went to a yoga class and you hadn't done it in a little while, right? And, and not, I hadn't done a yoga like that ever. What do you mean like that? I had done like small town yoga in church basements where someone had like pre-decided all the poses that they were going to do and they pretty much do the same thing every single week, um, you know, as opposed to somebody who's more passionate about it, is doing it as a career, um, is kind of assessing the class as it's happening and, you know, creating poses and helping people, you know, like literally the, the classes I've been to before, it was like exactly the same every single time. Yeah. So this is a very different experience and and as opposed to someone just like standing at the front saying like, do this. Like I felt like it was like YMCA, I'm just like following the leader. <laughs> really? <laughs> for, for, that, for the Thanks. yoga classes I had been to before, which yeah. is very different than, you know, what we just did, which was somebody who was more knowledgeable and was like talking us through poses and like this is how it should feel and these are the different modifications. Mm -hmm. mm. Well and maybe it was somebody yeah who wasn't qualified and like it really I know from past experience that um, a quality yoga studio is really really important and for me um, having a teacher that's spiritual and that's interested in the spiritual aspect of it that's an important piece for me. So the place where we went, where I used to go, and I've started again now, um, it's called Pranashanti in Ottawa. Um, it's a really good studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're so, having fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, so hoping to um, continue being physical and try and maintain the physical fitness that we had gained over the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing was the um, the fitness app. Oh yeah, so we, you know, just this time of year um, in Canada, it starts getting dark and cold and you kind of feel like you're going into hibernation mode and um, so we just also at the same time kind of wanted to 
to focus a little bit on you know the food and, and planning it out a little better um, now that fresh veggies aren't as easily accessible because um, we would stop at, at uh, little veggie stands at the end of farmers driveways and stuff on the way home um, so now that that's not available to just kind of be planning our meals out a little bit more and so we both downloaded my fitness pal uh -huh. which is a way to keep track of of um, what you're eating and just that like the time of like entering it in it kind of has us thinking about it a little bit more proactively and planning stuff out and mm -hmm. yeah I've never used an app like that before and it really has me thinking about the choices I'm going to make because it's like what did I say earlier in the van it was like um, it's holding me accountable to the choices that I'm making and also didn't realize how many carbs I was eating and how I have to like I already had started to reduce my sugar intake um, but I had no idea about my carb intake so that is um, a new piece of information for me and a new way of getting it and so you had a really great idea and a bit of a challenge to mm -hmm. anybody watching yeah if you're interested so like if you want so if you want to download the app and um, you can kind of connect with friends on the app and share ideas and encourage each other along and stuff so um, feel free to uh, join us on on my fitness pal um, if you want to look us up I am under CK Colesmith and I am Summer J. Boone and so I'll put that probably somewhere here across the screen and also in the links below I'll put it mm -hmm. as well and uh, the link for my fitness pal which is an app that we've downloaded on our phones and so we can connect as a, as a group there and encourage each other and share our successes and challenges there as well which is something I think you and I both really struggle in Canada now the the days are getting much shorter so the Sun is going down around 630 right now and yeah. soon it'll our time will go into Easter um, daylight savings yeah we'll go into daylight savings in about two weeks and then the Sun will be setting around just after five yeah so it's a real challenge for both of us to not get like depressed and feeling down and becoming couch potatoes, eating potato chips, watching Netflix from sundown till bedtime. So, well, I find that that's the the big motivator for the food thing too. Mm -hmm. um, with the sun going down so early, like it, I find that drains my energy. So, yeah, you know, to be eating the right foods that are going to help me feel light and energized and mm -hmm. balanced and you know if you eat something too heavy and like that's it couch it is for the night so yep we are wanting to have more energy and, and fun in our evenings and enjoy each other's company a little more other than just feeling comatose in front of Netflix although we love Netflix yes we love Netflix but we don't need to be only doing that that's yeah. the thing yeah and I think we did that a little bit last year last winter because I wasn't very well and um, yeah so we're trying. That's the thing. Well, this t like the the weather thing, like it sneaks up, and like once you kind of yeah. get in that like, you know, down down mood, it's hard to pick yourselves back up. So we're trying to be a little bit proactive. Like mm -hmm. the sun's just starting to go down um, earlier, but it's still kind of warm here. So it's giving us the chance to be like, oh no, we like we need to get organized and mm -hmm. and um, make plans so that we can feel healthy and strong and have energy to play and do fun things mm -hmm. and so it could be a challenge for all of us mm -hmm. to eat better to get more physical even just house cleaning or going for short walks it doesn't have to be uh, yoga it could be anything that you're interested in doing mm -hmm. anyway let's see if somebody will join us yeah so what are you gonna do tonight laundry Oh, so you go up and down the stairs for that. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Lesbo. <laughs> okay. If you're watching this on Facebook, um, consider heading over to YouTube and subscribing to our channel. Um, and you can follow us on Instagram at Let's Go Lesbo One. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we started Twitter. We haven't tweeted anything. I did one tweet, but anyway.
Follow us on Twitter at Let's Go Lesbo One. All right. All right. Let's go, Lesbo. All right. Bye.